Hey guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to click on my little thumbnail and give my video a watch. So today I have, I'm going to do a shop update. I like to do these, you know, once a month. Uh, I feel like toward the end of the year I have so much to share with you guys and this, this update, I feel like I have a ton to share with you guys. I have added so many charms and because it's, you know, two, 2023 is coming up, I've got all kinds of, uh, I got, I released a new uh, digital planner, so I'm going to just jump right into it and show you what I got going on. First thing, because Halloween is coming, and I have some other charms that were for Halloween, but these ones are like these little cat charms. And then have the little beads with the wire wrapping on them. So the large paper clip, and they have this type of backing. And then the smaller paper clip, and where is, I all, I also, oh no, this isn't the right one. This one's already on there, on my uh, Etsy. But I like to keep them in these little plastic baggies so that they don't get um, messed up in any kind of way. And that way I know what's done and what's not. But the smaller paper clips are little more minimalist they don't have the charms the other three beads on them and of course they're um, less in money I think these ones are four dollars and these ones are 325 there's another version with the lobster clasp and that's um, a 14 millimeter lobster clasp and that is um, three dollars these are one of my favorites. I just love this bead. And so there's a little bit of wire wrapping there. I did an extra decorative bead here. And then there's also the lobster clasp here. And this is the same, very minimal, but it has, didn't want to take away from this gorgeous bead and like this brown is just so pretty especially for fall and stuff so there's these two and I didn't I thought adding this bead to something bigger you know the bigger paper clip would just be too much so it's just those two I have these leaves here and they are so pretty. And they have this type of backing on it. This, so here's the lobster clasp. And this is the, the gray. I have white here. And they're kind of got this marbling in the decoration of it. So here's the lobster clasp. And you can get these in any color with, um, with whatever attachment that you want. So here's yellow. And then here's like a green. I love this green. So those are the th four colors. I also have all of these. <laughs> these are little mushrooms. And each one, like this purple one, has the green bead with a little decorative beading, the wire wrapping. Um, I also offer the lobster clasp, and this one is with the little brown bead and the green mushroom. Here is an orange one with the brown bead and the little decorative ending with the wire wrapping and the orange. Another green bead. I think I did one of each color, so I've got those green beads. Sorry. Here's yellow. 
Oh, I did two yellows with the small, with the small paper clips. Then I did two of these, like kind of teal-ish, with the brown beads. One with a large paper clip, one with a small. Here, pink with a lobster clasp and a small paper clap, a paper clap, paper clip, and a green bead. There's a pink one. And again, you can get whatever, oopsie, whatever attachment that you like. So if you like the small, it'll come just like this with whatever color that you picked or the lobster clasp or the large paper clip. Here's red and then this really pretty purple. Uh, I also have these little penguins, perfect for the upcomer, upcoming winter. Here's what the back looks like. It's just plain. Um, a little bit of wire wrapping with a star bead, a decorative bead ending. And here's another penguin. This one was with the lobster clasp. And these, I couldn't pass these up. So I saw these bow ties and I was like, oh my goodness. So there's this baby blue and they have these little polka dots these white polka dots in them there's this little baby pink and they've got these clear stones in the middle here's white and with the black dots and then here is black with the white dots and then here's the back So I think that's it for the beads. Now on to the planner inserts. I have December done, but December isn't printed, so right now I have November. Here is, so here's November. You'll get the November calendar with, this is the bundle, this is the first bundle here. It is Oh, I see. I printed two. So here's the first one. These two will come together. So you get these two inserts with the card and then you also get the November, a small 3x3 three three November card. What I loved about these colors <clears throat> is they went so well with these little charms. So I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even plan that out, but I thought they looked so good with them. So you'll get, that is one bundle. Not the charm, just the inserts. Here's the other one. has the book with the tray, candles, kind of like that perfect setting. Here's another one, another one. Now remember, the I don't sell the inserts with the um, hole punches. These will be for my own use because I love them. Here is the matching card to go with it, calendar card to go with it. So those are the two November bundles. I'm not sure how to add this in. I made this one. And I might, I don't know how to, how to add this. Um, maybe it'll be its own um, insert. And, uh, you know, with just this. And I'll maybe, I can try making my own calendar card a matching calendar card with it and just do like half price because I think these I sell these for five so maybe I could do this for like two or three but I just I couldn't this little fox he's in these two here down tucked into the corner and I just thought he was so cute and I have always loved this quote autumn is a second spring when every flower every leaf is a flower 
and I just love the turning of the leaves and so yeah and I've shown you guys these are the freebies that are for November you guys know how I like to use my my vellums so this will be in five different sizes <clears throat> here is my planner now I gave a sneak peek of it in a previous video I'm gonna grab some coffee here sorry you guys I throw it's a little dry so I did a sneak peek of this in a previous video but now I have the whole kit printed out and ready for me to use in 2023 and I'm pretty excited about it so you'll have <clears throat> in the bundle you will get I don't think I printed out the notes pages but there will be notes pages included so you get the 2023 cover page with a 2023 year in view with a 2024 year view notes pages and you get this monthly view and it's broken down in three months with notes pages on the other side again april through june notes pages july through september notes pages october through december notes pages i like to use these to track um like sick days and future holidays especially like with um october i know that um my oldest gets like a week off in october i think she gets a week off in november and a week off in december and then any notes pages like oh if i need to do a doctor's appointment or something like that this is super handy i keep all my birthdays anniversaries any of that kind of stuff i track it on this on my important deets so you get Jan uh, january through april one side may through august and then september through december notes pages and here's january so you get your january cover page and it matches your 2023 cover page So each month comes with a kind of like a, how I'm going to start my month off. What am I, how's my month going to be looking or what am I, what do I got upcoming for important dates? How do I feel about this month? What am I looking forward to? Watching, reading, monthly quotes. Then you jump right into January. I don't have any holidays on any of the months. It is a purely minimalist monthly download that's it so you add in it's dated you add in everything that you need not what I think you might need but what you need it so and so you can add in any decorations that you want any holidays that you want any notes that you need at the end you get a monthly reflection on what did I accomplish this month are my, am I happy with how I spent my time? What am I grateful for? And then my favorite moments. In the bundle, there is notes pages at the end. And you can, of course, print as many notes pages as you want to add to each month. Here's February. It's the same thing. You get your month. Your month here, again, no holidays. And then your monthly reflection. And it's that way through the entire year. So here's... April, <clears throat> May, June, everything is matching. Oh, I have July and June. <laughs> okay, I just mixed up my cover pages. How funny. Okay. I thought about offering this to print, but I think, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Should I offer to print? Um, it won't come bounded, It and I would really like to offer it as a bounded book. 
July, August. I don't know. I see so many beautiful planners out there already that are bounded and I'm just not sure. September, October. <clears throat> November and last but not least December and I do need to print some notes pages for myself because that's not going to do I will need lots of notes pages but that is it that is my planner and then I also will have with it there these are already in my shop I already have matching habit tracker that has the same um, font and meal planner it has the same font and what else do I have? My books, my monthly goals, my books, same type of font. I had to fix this. It's fixed in the printable, in the download, but not in mine. And then these are what the notes pages look like. Right here. Just very minimal, no um, no fancy drawings or anything on it. It's just pure lines and notes and you add whatever you need to it, not what I think you might need. And it, you can decorate it. I did le put, I did try to like maximize as much space and I went all the way down so there isn't very much room for washi. But there should be a fair amount here, or you can always cover that up as well. So that's what the notes pages will look like in here. Well, it looks like this right here. So you'll have front and back notes pages. So you'll have notes, notes, and they're all laid out. They would be right after here. So the printout would be print this page, this this page and this page are front and back. This page and this page are front and back. And then you get the notes pages front and back. And yeah, I think I think that's it. So in my head I had like this, I had all these things to show you. Probably, I'm probably looking at all of these and going, oh my God, I've got so many of these little um, mushroom charms to show you guys. And, but I guess it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I am very excited about, so this is one of the Christmas inserts. I haven't printed the other one and I still need to um, cut the corners on this one. But I think it looks super cute. But I'm very excited about November. I don't even know which one I'm going to use if I'm going to use... Um, this one, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm torn between this one and this one. I know I'll use, <laughs> I'll use one, probably the fox one for like the cover of November here. And I'll do exactly what I did here with September. Print out one of these. Um, a month at a glance pages fill this in and then I glued this down to my September page so I'll do that um, I'll do that with October and then November just to not that these aren't pretty but I like having this um, year in this, uh, not, I keep saying year in review, month in review uh, page here. I think it's it's nice. And I get to use the um, vellum to, because I think the vellum over on top of one of these wouldn't look right. Let's see here. 
yeah, so you got, I think it really takes away from the page. So having that, that monthly view page is, uh, really helps neutralize it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini, this little, not mini, but this little shop update. Um, I like doing these with you guys because I feel, I just, I love sharing the things that I create and I hope that you guys like seeing what I'm creating um, for my shop. So that is it for this video and sorry, I just, I just like looking at it. It's so pretty. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. As always, stay healthy and stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, you guys.